of course. Well, that wasn't Alexis comfortable Alexis McAllister, last night. that <laughs> wonder strike, moves Liverpool two points clear of Arsenal and three ahead of reigning champions Manchester City with eight league games left. So it really boils down to this. What is going to win out in the end in this title race? Will it be City know-how, the Klopp factor or Arsenal's newfound mentality? The man Klopp has got his own take on it. I didn't even know that I played tonight. No, absolutely, it's, it's really not my subject. So I, how I always was, I expect them always to win. That's not possible when they play against each other. But now they don't do that anymore. So I expect them always to win. So it's just, it's not about that. We need to get our points in. We need to win our football games. The rest, I'm, I'm honestly not interested. I told you that one story years ago, when I watched the game and wanted Leicester to win, didn't happen. That was the last time um, that I did that. Um, so that's when you learn from past from the past so I'm just when they play my heart rate doesn't go up I'm pretty sure when we lost at Arsenal that was we were not not favorites after that match day so um, maybe rightly so or not I don't know and I don't care and I get why because to be quite honest Martin does it really come into it who's looking most likely Liverpool's title destiny is quite simple it's in their own hands if they beat United, Palace, Fulham, Everton, West Ham, Tottenham, Villa and Wolves, done. Done deal. They've won it. Of course. And then, you know, there's a little bit of pressure on them the, the <laughs> last night. I thought McAllister, by the way, mm. he's a top player, isn't he? World he just class. keeps producing, you know, his contributions at the end of the season have been magnificent. Yeah. Uh, wonderful goal that he scored to settle it all down. Uh, it, it could have been a goal down, by the way. McAtee had a really good opportunity in the first five minutes. I think mean, there was another opportunity just a bit after. They weren't great. Um, own night. goal from... Um, from Bradley, Conor Bradley, which got a little bit nervy, but then McAllister steps up. The, he has been really magnificent. And that midfield, actually, is really weighing in with goals. I didn't think they scored too many last year, and there's big changes in that area, so that's been important for Liverpool. Um, of course, Klopp will look at it. He knows he's the, he's talking like a manager who knows all he has to do is keep winning every game. That's that's it. It's in front of them. You look at what is the up ahead, Manchester United. We've said... Uh, maybe that's, uh, you know, if it wasn't motivation enough when they went out of the FA Cup, as they did recently, surely that will get his players at it to, to go to Old Trafford and to, and to win there. So that, that's a big game you look at. We, uh, as pundits, we'll look and we'll have a look and see what games will be, that will be difficult. They've got to go to away, away to West Ham. They've got to play Spurs at home. Everybody, all the other two that are there as well, they play Spurs, but they play away. They've got them at home. So they are in the box seat. Every way you look at it, Klopp, is in the box seat. It's in their own hands. A hundred percent. And I, you probably expect them to do it, but will they do it? I thought last night they might close the gap a little bit on the um, on the goals for. Mm. I thought I saw that as an opportunity, of perhaps five or six. If that, that if that I, was, I said to you, didn't I, out there? If, if Man City played Sheffield United at their place, do you think that would have happened last night? So that's a credit to Klopp and the job he's done with this squad. It's a bit. It's a new midfield. What he's done since last year and last season, which wasn't great is all down to him. That's what I'm concerned about next year, what happens yeah. next, you know, because Jurgen Klopp is the one who's kept us they in They didn't this. close that door, did they? So if they don't uh, win at the weekend, and I watched, and I watched the last go night. top on goal difference. They don't keep clean sheets, enough clean sheets, um, but I can't criticise anything Liverpool are doing to, because to be in a title race, any Liverpool fan, it's, it's dreamland with this amount of games to go. I still think Man City will do it. I don't think Man City will drop another point from here on in. And as good as Liverpool have been, I look at the Everton and Man United games, Two places Klopp's had issues. You would say not his best win record at both of those uh, games um, away from home, I believe. They're the ones. We win those games, we win the league, in my opinion. Right, right. It's down to that. Yeah. I mean, Martin, I know... It's am I right? It's in Liverpool's hands. Heart and head. Heart would love Arsenal. Head says City or look, Liverpool, look, does look, it? Uh, in between that, we have got games, you know, look at Man City, we've got to play Real Madrid... Home and away, Arsenal got to play Bayern Munich. Atalanta is, the, is what is what they're up against in the Euro, in the Europa League. Yeah, but that's what they live for, isn't it? You want to be yes, but I'm, what I'm saying is, if, I, if I'm looking at a degree of difficulty, and I'm saying okay, that is easier for Liverpool. Yeah, now they deserve to be where they are. It's 100 percent they deserve to be where they are. It's just about pulling that off, isn't it? But I do think it's quite an amazing change around because mm. if you look at Salah as the right playing as right wing, virtually everybody else is pretty new to it. In that, in those, in those other areas, those five other positions, the midfield three is new. Um, you know, I know, okay, Diaz a little bit of experience, but not a great deal. Mm. Uh, Gagpo started to bang goals in. Nunes is, is contributing. McAllister, you know, everybody knew Jim. What a wonderful talent he was. He proved that by being a World Cup winner. Yeah, um, and he slotted in beautifully. I think he took his time to start with. 
But I mean, who wouldn't go into go into a club yeah, at that was, scale? He was losing the ball a little bit, actually, wasn't he? Fabinho was a totally different player. It yeah. was a change, was a sea change. He was also he was a physical. They were playing player. him a lot deeper as well because they didn't have that traditional six, and it was till Endo, Endo got up to speed. And when Endo got up to speed and went into the six, they moved McAllister further forward, and his best football has coincided with that. Even though last night, obviously, he was a bit deeper again, but he's controlling and dominating games. I know people say world class a word used too much. Mm. He's a world yeah, but cup Fabinho winner. Fabinho was and he's a, showing it. what I call an anchor man, a defensive he was, man. He was. And, and but McAllister going in there is a different, a little bit of a difference. I think mm. just they were so renowned for pressing, weren't they, Liverpool? Yeah. And I think this year they played a lot more football, but they still press very well. I agree with you. It's going to be nobody can predict what's going to happen. It's the beauty of our industry. Oh, I right. think it's going to go right to the end. Yeah. Wouldn't it be amazing to have three teams can win the league? Has that ever happened where three teams on the final day are in it so. to win a title? And probably, it changes, and it not, changes no. three times. Can yeah. you imagine yeah. what that would be like? Yeah. How much does the clock factor come into it, Martin? At the back of their minds now. And we're now it, incredibly, we're now used to seeing it. Of course, Jurgen Klopp leaves Liverpool at the end of the season. Mm. Well, I, at times, I pinch myself and I think, is that right? But it is right. How yeah, much does that come into it? Well, his team building have been quite magnificent, hasn't it? That money that they used for Coutinho when they made all those Incredible. acquisitions, Edison come in, Van Dijk, um, one after another, Salah, quite magnificent. We're now in that phase two. He's, build, he's rebuilding again. What's remarkable, really, is he's now going to walk away from that team. I find that almost astonishing. I can uh, understand. And he's running, maybe he's, he's running out of gas, and maybe it was mm. inspired to say, to be honest, and there is a great deal of honesty, isn't there, with him? He's, he's full in. He's full I, on. I, yeah, I think he kind of exhausted. feels like yeah. if, if, you know, I think if you had a son or, you know, that's playing football, you'd want it to be Klopp the manager. It's like a shared journey. He's there on their shoulder. He's he, every step of the way. They're quite inspired and they're just, they're in the moment, these players. And they're doing it because they're not going to get another moment with this manager. And I think it's making it definitive in what they do. It's yeah. like, okay, it's now or never. And that's really kind of like... They've yeah, got nothing to lose. Yeah, it makes them more emphatic in final, final, final season. The, you know? Do you know what, Dan? It's such an interesting um, issue you raised there. Mm -hmm. the, the Premier League title race has gone to the last day nine times, but never involving three, three teams. different teams. How incredible will that be? We'll have another Aguero moment. I mean, it's one heck you know, of a, that's so, one heck yeah. of a They'll have to bring a, a Martin Tyler. They'll have to bring him out all of retirement three teams. on Sky. All, you know? It's interesting, all three teams are at home. So what we're going to no, have? I thought, what, I thought what Man we, City are away. What we, we got? Man? Arsenal and uh, Liverpool well, are home. Wolves. It's Wolves for Liverpool. Yep. West Ham. Yep. For uh, Man City and Everton for. But Arsenal. is it, is it West Ham away? Where, West Ham away from Man City. No. Are they home? No, all three are at home. I believe all three. We'll have that confirmed for you. Oh, I thought one I of like them was that. away. But one of them was away. Are, are you are you enjoying talking a lot about Liverpool at the moment, Mark? Because that deflects <laughs> from any pressure on Arsenal. No, not at all. I think Arsenal are enjoying the pressure this year. Yeah. I think they've they've gone the course last year. Maybe they didn't go well. But this year, you just see... I mean, the one for Arsenal, we're looking at Arsenal fixtures now suddenly. We're going to talk about them. But I think Brighton is a, is a difficult one because they have not been very consistent at all this year. And they are a club that sells players. They've made a £122 million profit last year. How about that? Fantastic, Brilliant. really, what they've done. And everyone in that dressing room will know a good performance against Arsenal maybe is a ticket out of there. I know you don't. Brighton fans won't appreciate me saying it, but that is what's become a little bit of a stepping stone club. Uh, I think that's insulting to, to no, the Brighton no, no, no. Uh, players no, no. in the club. Well, is it? Uh, yeah, I, I, no, well, look what McAllister is no, now offering at Liverpool. Clauses, I get all of that, but I think to say that players play for Brighton, you know, against Arsenal to get a move, I think that's a little bit of will elite, be, elitist mentality from you as an Arsenal man. No, I'm trying to give you an idea of what's in the mind of oh, a player. I don't need an education so, from you. So, I understand. I have yeah, my own yeah. players. I know so, how it works. So what do you think they're thinking of the your players this weekend I, I, in the cup I, final? Well, I know they're my in the players, shop window, aren't no, they? No, 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 no. My players this weekend will be thinking of, of, no, well, listen, go buy a football club, then you can judge me about being naive. At the end of the day, my players will be thinking, oh, can we win a trophy at the biggest stage of them all? If you think one of my players on Sunday are thinking about a move to Real Madrid or to whoever else in the championship, you know nothing about owning players so they don't and owning want, the club. They, you don't think they want to go and play in a they high level? They all want to play higher. Do any of them, are any of them capable of If you let me finish, you? I'll explain to you. What I'm telling you is, in one big game, Brighton, Arsenal, whatever else, if you're telling me those Brighton players are walking out against Arsenal in a title race, thinking about Chelsea coming in for them the next day or in the next window... No, during the season, Martin. Of course, they, every, they everyone know. wants to progress to big clubs. Yeah, My but, players are the same. But where is what the I'm focus this is, weekend? I think you're being a tad bit disrespectful just to Brighton there. I think Brighton now are for me a top seven, top eight club now in the Premier League. Not all of their players are going to end up playing for a Chelsea and Arsenal and Liverpool. I think it's a well-run football club. 
It's not a middle of the road club. It's not a club of no, no relegation. And I don't think every player that, that goes to Brighton. I actually feel they should be admired. But what Correct. I'm saying to you, I'm trying to give you, you. I'm here for my insight as a former player. Sure. And a, a former player will know the focus <coughs> is on that Arsenal game this weekend. And I tell you what, if I have a good performance and my contract is not really certain, mm. I've already got a clause saying that there's a, a limit on what your a club will pay for me, and it seems evidence of of this with some of the Brighton players. McAllister's fee was fixed before sure. the last World Cup. Mm. So look, how many others are like that? A good performance against Arsenal puts me. In the shot window. Can I ask you a serious question? Next year. Can I ask you a serious question? Ferguson, the striker of Brighton that everyone loves. Do you think if he is a stinker against Arsenal this weekend, somebody won't buy him in the summer if he's available for 100 I think million? He's gone off the boil. No, but do you think, think if he's he, gone do, off the boil? Do you boil. think if he had a stinker, I, it would affect that? I, no, but I think the player feels with the insecurities that they have. I tell you what, though, I can reinforce that belief in me again because it slipped away a little bit. But if I do well against Arsenal, I'm back in the shot window. That's I how I understand your argument. He's a young player. I, I he's have to say, uh, almost predictably, there are a few messages coming in, Martin. I'll select one Tottenham against Arsenal. That's where uh, Arsenal lose the title, Mr Keown. Mm. Say a variety of Tottenham well, fans. City have got to go there as well, no? Man okay, City. stay with us. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.